Even though I'm part of the group, I'm a fan of them. And when she starts singing, killing me softly, I almost wanted to cry. Strong in my pain with his fingers. Singing my love with his words. Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly with his With his words killing me softly with his song I heard he sang a good song, yes. Then I heard that he had a style and so I came to see him. And listen for a while And there he was This young boy Singing Street strong Strumming my pain With his finger Singing my life With his words Oh, he was killing me softly With his song Killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his word, killing me softly with his song. What? What? Where I've been. See, that's where I've been. Yeah. You see where I've been? Yeah. The, the first day that we rehearsed, it was, um, you know, um, it was it was familiar. You could you could feel why, um, you know, why we had made music together in the first place because there was a certain synergy at the time. You know, I was I, I came from the straight up suburbs, you know, of South Orange, New Jersey. You know, I went to um, you know a school that was probably like 75 percent white middle class Jewish you know and um, from you know hard working parents and I went to school and met Proz first who had known my brother and he introduced me to Wyclef I remember the first uh, studio sessions I guess Proz was paying for someplace in this other studio in East Orange and I walked in and we were re recording a song and then Wyclef shows up and that was like you know much uh, earlier <laughs> times so he had on this big velvet crown, you know. Yeah, it's a, this crown. is around the time we went Batman. Everything was Batman, big Batman buttons. Y'all yeah, yeah. didn't do that down south? Yeah, okay, well, well a few people did that. Okay, but he had on these patent leather boots with these um these big police badge things on the boots with his pants tucked in with a velvet hat. And he came in <clears throat> and he started started doing like some real like Jamaican type patois. So for like the first five years that I knew them, I had no idea they were Haitian. You know, I thought they were Jamaican because they just, you know, you know, they talk like that. 